Today is day six and we went over responsive design one. We went over the differences between the different layouts such as fixed, fluid, adaptive, and responsive layout. And we were playing with media queries so that when you change devices, the website will automatically know how to uh, adapt to uh, different resolutions. And we also learned about two extensions called uh, Window Resizers and Perfect Pixel for Chrome and they really help you get really close to a designer's Photoshop file um, if you were to uh, get handed one. And uh, just playing with uh, our old projects and making sure that they were responsive, particularly at 400px resolution and 800px resolution. And what I'm gonna do here is go a little bit deeper into media queries. There's a little link that was provided in the um, training kit, so I'm gonna Day seven today, and we covered responsive design two. We covered things like uh, rem units, m units, and pixels, and we learned how to adapt those uh, pixel, those type of units to our website. Um, one of the things you should know is that uh, most modern fully responsive websites use an adaptive and responsive uh, nature. That way, it takes advantage of both. Um, um, both layouts and the advice we were also given is for padding and margin you would generally use um, percents and then if you're using fonts you should use the uh, rem units and then we also learned about setting up a 62.5% uh, font base font size on the HTML uh, tag of the body so it's easier to calculate with 10 pixels for fonts. Just completed day eight. Today we went over preprocessor, uh, CSS preprocessor, and it was working with uh, less. Uh, I think it stands for Lean Style Sheets. And it's just another way to write CSS to make it more efficient. Um, there are certain things you can use with less, such as variables, mixins, um, nesting, and nesting media queries inside too. And uh, today's project was basically just working on different, um, uh, we're working on a resume. We have to design it from scratch and it could either be about yourself or a fictional character. I chose to make a fictional character um, since I already have a resume. And it was pretty fun. It just took a lot of time trying to create the content and finding the content, gathering it, and also uh, styling it and uh, using less in the process as well. I just finished day nine and today is about preprocessor pre two. We're still dealing with uh, less, which stands for leaner style sheets. And we got a little bit deeper today going into mixins and how you can use variables or arguments and use that inside the CSS uh, properties. And we also worked on a project today, it's called Fun Bus, and we were building a website uh, with maybe 75% of the content, and we just have to apply our less and CSS knowledge to it. And we also learned things like escaping, um, which is useful for using with media queries. And then we also learned about um, how, how to do the media queries with like the phone or the tablet as well. Uh, overall, a pretty good day, and tomorrow we have the Sprint Challenge, and uh, I also got to play with some animations today, so that was pretty cool. So today marks the 10th day of Lambda School, and it was a Sprint Challenge day where we had to build a website today, and maybe 75% of the content was already provided. So we would have to write the semantics of the HTML and also style it with less and including using all the new things we learned about less, including mixins, variables, um, escaping, and a, a whole bunch of other concepts. But I think the thing that took the longest it was probably trying to make it pixel perfect. I'm a perfectionist myself and I was trying to learn to let go of trying to be perfect. And the assignment actually calls for just close enough. And um, so I think I did a great job. I even got to some of the extra challenges that they have at the end. Uh, most of my classmates, however, felt that the project, the sprint challenge was way too difficult.
but that's it. Have, have, you guys have a good weekend.